Hey everybody, it's Kristen with Decorators Warehouse and today I'm going to teach you how to make a fun um, oversized jingle bell garland for your mantle. We're going to be using a nine foot pre-lit gar garland like I have right here. And the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to find the middle point. So I'm just going to fold it in half until both sides um, hang the same length and that's going to help me put it onto the mantle. So as you can see, I have a wood mantle, cedar block mantle. I do not mind um, using small nails on my mantle, um, which is what I do. So I have a finishing nail right in the middle, and then I have one on each side as well. Um, if you are not comfortable putting nails in your mantle, you can achieve the exact same thing with a command hook in those locations. Since I have it folded, I'm actually going to come in starting in the middle. I'm going to wrap a branch of greenery around the nail. And then I'm going to go to each side. Now I like mine to swag a little bit, which you'll see here, and then it's going to hang over the side about a foot. Next thing we're gonna do um, is I have this gorgeous pre-made garland. Uh, it has all different types of textures, foliages. It has pine cones, berries, um, you know, some of this mixed needle greenery as well. Um, these are great to use by themselves, especially if you have a smaller area, um, but I actually love them to fill in my garlands and make them look fuller. They come in six foot lengths. As I said, my garland is nine foot. Um, so you can do one of two things. You can let it come down, hang longer than your garland, which is okay, or you can actually cut off that section at the end, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Um, that little section that we cut, you can then put into a teardrop, um, use it on a shelf as an accent piece, or any number of things. So I'll, I'm gonna start on this side, and I'm gonna utilize the spine, so this, metal wire piece that runs along the center and I'm going to lay it along the spine of my PVC garland here. And I'm just, what I'm doing right now is I'm wrapping the greenery around the spine um, which will hold it in place. So I've placed the first of my pre-made garlands. I'm going to continue with this. Um, and as you can see, I do have some excess, about a three foot section here. Um, so I am gonna get my wire cutters and I'm just gonna clip that off. Okay, and you can hang on to this. This is actually a great size piece um, to then make a matching teardrop as well. So I'm just gonna set that aside for later use. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in with these great oversized jingle bells. Um, I have two sizes of them, small one and a medium one. Um, we're gonna do a grouping of two here on this side, 
two on the other side, and then a grouping of three right here in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the small one kind of in this area with the medium one coming off to the side. So I'm gonna use the hanger and I'm gonna wrap the greenery to secure it in place. the same thing on this side. Um, but once I have them on both sides, I'm gonna do a grouping here in the middle. I'm gonna do a you know, large one on the bottom and then the two smaller ones off to the side. So same thing using the greenery to wrap around. One can hang a little bit lower than the others. We're going to weave a little bit of ribbon through the garland and for this one I've chosen um, a really cute cozy farmhouse looking plaid. Um, this is a wired ribbon. It's 10 yards by 4 inches. It's the perfect amount to do a 9 foot garland. And we're going to start on this end and you're going to want to have scissors nearby because we're going to cut after every few loops. So I'm gonna leave a tail, it's probably about eight inches, down at the bottom. I'm using the greenery again to hold it in place. I'm gonna do a little decorative cut. Um, we call this a fish tail, but so you're gonna cut at a diagonal to just give it a fun little detail. My first loop is gonna go on this side, and then we're gonna go down, up, and alternating each way. So my loop's probably, oh, I'd say 24 inches. Just wrapping the greenery around to hold it in place. And then I'm gonna bring it down below. Do another loop here. And pull that forward just a little bit. Okay, so I like to cut after every two loops. So since I have one on the side, one down, I'm going to leave a tail. Uh, my tail again is about oh eight inches. Gonna make a fishtail decorative cut at an angle. See what a fun little detail that is. And then I'm gonna start my next set of two loops um, coming from the top. So since I'm here on the bottom, I'm gonna start here, cutting every, every two. So this time I wanna leave the tail at the top. about 24 inch loop. I'm gonna do my second loop along the bottom. the tail and cut. Okay, we're gonna continue with our loops right here um, to the right of the bells going up. And my, I 
of about an eight inch tail again that's going this direction. too tight and um, you want it to have a little bit of dimension to it and then we're going to do the next one along the bottom I'm going to leave a tail and cut at an angle Okay, once my ribbon is in, the last thing that I'm going to do, and I could stop there, I have a beautiful garland with lots of different greenery, beautiful ribbon, bells, um, but if I wanted to add a little bit more color, maybe more of the berries, um, I could come in and do this as filler. Um, so I've got this great piece with a lot of texture. I'm actually going to cut them into two sections, so I'm just going to find like a natural break. So see now I have this one and this one. Um, this is a great size stem, so I don't need to do anything with the stem for adding them in wherever I see spaces. I like to use hot glue. Um, I keep my garlands year after year, but a lot of people don't like to use hot glue um, simply because you can change out the decor if you were to change your theme uh, the following year. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the stem and then just press it in. You can pull it out a little bit. Okay, and I'm just gonna continue on uh, with my berries. I have about seven total sprays splitting them into two, it's gonna give me about 14 little sections. All right guys, there you have it. We have a beautiful on-trend um, jingle bell garland that we can use year after year um, in our holiday home. So thank you for joining us today. Again, I'm Kristen with Decorators Warehouse. Uh, be sure to follow us on Facebook and we're also on Instagram and our website is decoratorswarehouse.com. Thank you.